What's up guys, this is The Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as France. So to kind of round off on my last time, I did lots of opening moves as you'd expect to the start of the game and I lost terrifically to this Dutch fleet which has been strengthened by French sloops or French, uh, French ships. Um, but that's okay because as soon as they send this army to attack Brussels um, or to capture Brussels, I'll swoop in and take Amsterdam. Or sooner, depending on how strong how much I want to develop my army, but I'd like to get... So next turn... Actually, if I just hit end turn, let, let it tick over. Um, so Bordeaux is going to expand, become a new city. I'm going to... I'll make them research canister shot so I have the artillery advantage against the Netherlands. Then I will start going hard down the... Uh... What's called not not philosophical, political. They're pink technologies. I can't remember the terminology. Military alliance. No. <laughs> oh no, they're going. They're at war with Prussia. That's good. As long as Prussia doesn't capture Amsterdam, because I want it. Um, Sweden's, Sweden's being Swedes. Who I'm allied with, actually. I'll have you know. <laughs> um, New Spain, still New Spain. Yeah, got to get ready for them, because they're just going to send an army to try and... They are going to invade my territory. That's what happened last time, is that I was focusing on India, that all of this stuff was kicking off at the same time, but I wasn't getting that financial payback out of India. I was pouring money into trying to defend it and expand, but it just wasn't... wasn't worth it. Hold on, Newtown emerges Bordeaux. Cool, let's get you going on a school. School in three turns. So if I do... That'd round out quite well, actually. If I do canister shot in three turns, then when the school's ready... Military technology, plug bayonet, yeah. Useful, miss, successful mission. I'll give them one more turn, and if they don't capture it, then I will um, invade it myself. Basic economic investment. So I've got some Hessian line infantry. If I can recruit some colonial line. The Hessian line is cheaper and lower cost. No, oh, and I can I can only get a maximum of ten. And they're all in recruitment. So I'll get them and then two units of line. And a unit of demi cannons. That should be enough. Particularly if I research, um, if it, particularly if I research the likes of canister shot. Let's so send you. Let's send you to Brest. Traits gains. My ministers have got a lot better. They're all pretty good. Can I repair Lahav? I can, because that will get me lots of money back. So diplomacy, trading again. Let's have another go. Now I've fought some people. Oh no, I'm all, I'm all booked up. Yeah, and I give them one more turn to see if they go for Brussels. If they don't, I'll just go for them. And then how's down here looking? Well, to be honest, I'll have a peek. I'll go have a peek at what's going on up there. Right, enter. Oh, I didn't go save my ships at the edge of the world. They could be about to get absolutely smacked by the Dutch. But that's fine. They're all broken anyway. It's more or less the equivalent to... Uh, Bumping into a load of drift water. Ooh. Okay, I said one more turn, see if they attack. I'll give them one more turn if they attack Westphalia. If they attack Westphalia, um, I might be able to... They'll get smacked around a bit. Or they catch Westphalia. If they catch Westphalia, I'll take Amsterdam, then Westphalia. Um, give them a bit of time to crack on and see what they're doing. Let the AI... Make a bit of a mistake. But as soon as I take out the Amsterdam, my more immediate threats in Europe have been dealt with. Um, the German states will start to be unhappy with me. Ha! <laughs> hmm. 
Right, so... Maratha's at war with me. Which is fine. Um, do I want to spend the money defending India right now? No, I think is the answer to that. Particularly with all these raiding forces coming around, I'm going to want troops to, to quell the riot. Not the riots. Um, put down the, the raids. Um, so my struggle. So I might actually have to... Oh, who, oh, who do I give the... So who do I trade? My French territory with... There is unused land suitable for farming in this region. Building farms here. All right, well, I'll, I'll let them do stuff for now because right now they're just wandering around with one region. So diplomacy, Mughal Empire. How about that alliance, buddy? <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Fleet arrives. Let's get you. Oh god, a bit of a lag spike. Let's do that. Get my agent ashore. Get you guys back to Brest. There you go, got my gentleman running down to school. Ah, oh, not quite. Construction, Paris. Okay, I've got my fort built in India, so if I want to suddenly just dump troops down, I can. Got to keep an eye on happiness. So it's only 300 cost in terms of reducing tax, whereas if I reduce on the lower classes to promote growth. So if I do that, how does that impact growth? Growth suddenly goes up quite a lot. Growth 10 to 10. Ah, there you go. So it's cut the development time of towns from 62 to 32. Cool. Okay, I'll bring my army out to be ready. They're going to sit here. No troops at this fort. Then, if they get smacked around, I'll move in on Amsterdam. As long as the annoying Spanish don't do it first. Upper Canada and New France. Ooh. Governor's Mansion. Happiness isn't really a problem. Happiness and money isn't really a problem. Don't read any of that. I can't build anyway. Build roads in Montreal. Quebec's okay. Let's build the next. Let's build a governor's mansion. How about you guys? Infrastructure's being built. It's all good stuff. Let's upgrade Newfoundland. Ports, roads, alignment. Ah, okay. Let's knock that on the head. Instead, build the new roads. Because roads might be what? Nope, doesn't quite push it over to growing, but... Given time. At some point, I'd like to do a Great Britain campaign. But my plan is definitely... Whichever ends first, United Provinces or the USA. Um, to... Uh, uh, I've completely forgot my train of thought. To do a Hearts of Iron playthrough with probably f Nazi Germany, just because sometimes being the baddies is fun. Um, try to do all the Blitzkrieg. I realize World War Two is a period of history. Um, I've got far too many books about it, <laughs> so that should be fun. So yeah, it's a, it's a good game. Um, I like the old history part of it. I played Hoy Three. Hoy Three was a bit crazy because the I found the UI really weird to understand, so I'd be... Well, yeah, I just really didn't, didn't enjoy Hoi 3, but uh, I did have the weird scenario where I had Vulcan bombers dropping nukes over Berlin in 1943, because I just went, I want jets and nukes. That's what I want. I just hard-researched it for since the start of the game, and I finally got it in 1943, which I just enjoyed enjoying the imagery of, because I really like the, the, uh, the Vulcan. Being British, you kind of have to, don't you? Vulcan and TSR2. <laughs> um, cool. 
Oh. Yeah, so this, yeah, the Netherlands haven't moved in. I'm just going to attack Amsterdam. They've got half garrison, half garrison capital. Asian. Cool. Plantations. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this chap. Oh, yeah, look at that. Even when they get their little bonus troops. Should be grand. But I'm going to maintain siege for now, because... Oh, see, or do I play it super safe, go pick them up and then fight? No, they should, they'll be there, there for reinforcements. Austria and Poland, successful mission. Screw it. You're done, United Provinces. I am not taking any of your crap beyond words. Storm in, take Amsterdam, then uh, threaten Europe and hot, do some island hopping around between the pirates and the United Provinces leftover territories. Things are still on good terms with Great Britain. I don't necessarily have to push straight on to attack British territories, but I will eventually. Attack Spain whenever I want and take all of its goodies. Whereas now, you know, we're, we're pals. Can't just do that to a pal. Okay, so West Battery, East Battery. Let's get a handful of dudes. Two per battery to, to cover the breaches, to provide a threat, and to also storm the breaches when other forces are um, no longer... When, when like, they've started responding to my attacks on the walls, that's the time to go in. Along with two units of cavalry per breach. And cavalry's not really ideal in a city battle, but when they get through the breach and they're free to run around and just be a nuisance, then they can do lots of good stuff. Of course, do you target that section of the wall, you target that section of the wall. What the hell was that? Ah, it's who they're shooting at. Okay. Spread them out. Spread them out. Spread them out so that the cannonballs don't whack the hell out of them. These guys are all okay? No, not really. Sort of, kind of, not really. But I'm fairly sure I move up anyway. Maybe walk, but... These walls will be knocked down. If I can trap all these guys on the in the central area, that would be excellent. Oh, the gates are open. My spies have successfully opened the gates. So I don't even need to make a breach. But it'll just mean another hole for me to pour another set of troops in. I've fought far too many siege battles where I've gone. I could just charge... Oh, you know what? I could just run my cav in. I really could. No. <laughs> Do this properly. So you don't screw it up. Because some, you know... Okay, let's run these guys. Yeah, do it properly so you don't screw it up. That's the main thing. Because I have done it before. I've gone, you know, I've not really thought about it. I've just gone for it. And then there's been a morale chain. And then before I know it, everyone's running. And it's just miserable. These guys need to put, these guys need to, some of these guys anyway need to attach, start attaching plug bayonets so they can just run around and start stabbing people. Because these guys don't have bayonets. Keep the cannons firing. I mean, strictly speaking, I don't really need to. Don't really need to, but. Stats of a regular guy. Hmm.
So that hold fire with them. Run my infantry up. Run my infantry up and run my cav up. What about these guys? How far is their breach? Their breach is miles away. Cool. Should be safe to get into position now. Ah, other infantry, other infantry. You guys attach plug bayonets. You attach plug bayonets. Actually, this unit of cavalry, he's going to bomb it as this, as this artillery barrage comes in. Come on, one more shot. No, peel off. on the charge as soon as wall comes down in 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 through the gap Okay, got the good old frame rate drop from combat. Broken? Oh god, stupid. Oh, they've been hit. But why are there an artillery shooting? Their target was the wall. They'll be back. What a kick up. Yeah, these guys should be getting chewed up because my guys have bayonets and those guys don't. Nice laggy charge. Nice frame rate charge into the. Pff, nice charge, guys. <laughs> there you go. They should retreat, so they should break. Attack them in the rear. Garrison this building. If you can, then just shoot out in all directions, including this big blob of infantry right here. This is what you get for taking my ships.
These guys support the battle for the wall. Should be quite safe, but when I can attack, I can then stream down here and attack from the other direction. There we go, got my guys inside. My men are starting to win the battle of the walls. Get this unit of infantry into the into the uh, command HQ. Oh no, wait, there's no point because they've got bayonets in. See if I'd fire by rank. This would be so beautiful. You're getting quite hammered, actually. Let's call the cavalry back because it's starting to get quite knackered. Lances. Get out. That and you're probably nearly dead, judging by the amount of your scene clicked. Lances. There you go, get the bayonet in. Eventually, as I kill more of them, it should get easier. <laughs> In theory. <laughs> okay. Battle of the Gate is still messy. You're still doing nothing. So that's a garrison unit of whole unit of militia, not knowing what direction to look at. Final Dutchman over here is just going to be mobbed by a million angry Frenchmen. At this point, everyone's suitably knackered. It may as well just make sense to run them out and get them involved in the melee. back on it. How many f Dutchmen are left here? 68, 66. Well, there you go. The Frenchmen are forming an orderly queue to enter the combat. <laughs> okay, let's speed time up a little bit. Throw them into combat. Charge this unit of Cavin. Third Lancers. Kill the general. Everyone's routing. Victory! 
to the French. Oh, so where is it? Okay, so people talk about how, you know, these... They're not necessarily representing Amsterdam. Like, that's not Amsterdam. You go, no, that's a fort. That is Amsterdam. Because I've seen people say that, you know, in Rome, stuff you've built is inside it. You know, it's it's quite an aesthetically beautiful looking thing, particularly a fully developed Roman huge city. It's it's rather excellent. Boom. Gone. Okay, now let's repair all of this stuff and repair my troops. And then probably, say probably, definitely, recruit um, Swiss pikemen. Beautiful. Wait a minute. These have. Oh no, wait. Oh, it's a model. It's a picture thing. I was like, wait a minute. They have a gun. But they can't do anything with it. These aren't pikemen. These are like clubmen. Cool. Bit unhappy that Spain's in the way, but I'd rather have a full, full, uh, full trade or like a full kingdom. Um, but you know, do what you gotta do. Yeah, recruit a unit you know, militia to sit in this commercial port. And I don't know if that gets me any... No. Nope, doesn't get me any trade slots. Maybe that's my agent being used up. So let's send him over here. To have a look. Oh, I forgot! The Dutch have a... Dutch have a school. They're definitely going to rebel. Um, so I'm going to knock... Do they have any other towns? No. So I'm going to knock that down and build a happiness building. Um, Because I want to exploit that school, actually. Utrecht. Utrecht go for empiricism? Yes, new colleges. Cool. You go for empiricism. Orleans, or Orléans goes, well, however you pronounce it. I don't know. I, I say Orléans as though it's right. I don't know. Cool, then you'll be built. Cool, then I'll have three universities. Or three three places of learning and culture. Um, Quebec, may as well give you an opera house then. Just to help stop you from shrinking a bit so much. Ooh, four, there you go, perfect. A bit more alignment means they start growing. Mm. Okay, so then let's get... Do, could do with some cannons, but I don't have any. Ah, aha! Perfect. Cool. In turn. Must come rather well. I completely forgot about. Ooh. No, I'm not giving <laughs> physiocracy and plug bayonets and seventy gold for common land enclosures. I don't think so, Britain. Who do you think you're playing at? Uh, yeah, I, f I completely forgot about the university in the United Provinces. That's pretty, pretty damn OP. So within a first handful of turns, I'm going to have three universities. That's pretty goddamn awesome. Prussia's being Prussia. Let them be Prussia. Oh, that means the uh, the Dutch settlement in the Americas that I was attacking has now become a pirate fortress. Good guys, Louisiana. Fight them off. Um, yeah, so that's made my... Yeah, if I can capture a little core of countries and islands, I can start getting money in to then just randomly... Not randomly, attack the, the Ottomans. So what I'd like to do is attack Egypt and then push eastward. Because then if I attack Egypt, there's a big gap to the west of me, and then again it's just Barbary states boring to the west. Whereas if I attack, say, Jerusalem, um, or Syria, or Damascus, then I could be attacked from all directions. So strategically, I think Cairo might be a good spot to go to. Maybe that might be the, the army I have in e the, the army I have in Amsterdam might be the army I take there. Because um, it'll take me a few turns to quell the unhappiness in Amsterdam um, including putting down some rebellions so right now they are unhappy so I'll get sent a letter 
there'll be a riot, there'll be a rebellion. There could well be two rebellions, actually, because the only... The, um, them being unhappy about the rule only goes down once per turn. Cool. Not bother about farms in India. There you go, Montreal has new roads. Much to the benefit of the, the people that want to attack me. Bring my Denny, Demi cannons over. There you go, facial they're pirates, but... Oh, so they've just become Native American warriors. Okay. Recruitment report. Army, get you up here. Cannon foundry. Do not cannons? I want this. More tax income, please. Then, yeah, they're unhappy. The nobles are happy with me, but they're not. Because the resistance for foreign application, 29, even though I'm exempting them from tax. Um, even if I knock this down. Eh, I don't know. I don't want all the school down. Saxony is destroyed. The Netherlands is on strike. Build a grand opera house. Because I'm not bothered about getting more rakes. At least not right now. Not rakes. Um, oh, Austria's taking Saxony rather than Prussia. Interesting. Um, yeah, I'm not bothered about getting more gentlemen just yet. Um, I'd rather just keep a ha have a happy Amsterdam. Smallpox. Excellent. Okay, well, but looking at the time, I think that might be the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time.